Good morning, Monday Mindsetters. How's it going? Good to be back. Monday morning, feeling good. How was your weekend, everyone? Uh, it's getting nicer, isn't it? It's Spring is in the air. All right, we've got lighter evenings. I can feel the energy coming. Uh, great weekend. You can go surfing after kind of five o'clock in the evening now, which is pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, the daffodils are out. It's a good time of year. There's lots of hope with spring. Okay, we have gone through the hard work of winter and we've got spring and summer to look forward to. So fantastic. Really, really excited. Good morning. A few of you coming in now. That's fantastic. Who's going to be the first person in the chat box? Um, as always, a bit of a race there, so that would be great to see. Um, I hope you are all really well, and we're going to kind of discuss this morning affirmations, which is building on what we were talking about, about last week. So last week we were talking about limiting beliefs and what keeps you back, thoughts that you have, words that you use, language that you use that will actually hold you back. And to counteract that is the positivity of affirmation. So, oh, yeah, we got some people trickling in. So there we go. First in, oh, Mr. Simon Wheatley. Good morning to you, Simon. Hope you're well. Great to see you. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope little Arlo as well. Okay, Claire Wilson, photographer extraordinaire. Good to see you, Claire. Hope you've been out with... Uh, with, with little Walter, been out for a walk this morning. Who have we got else? We've got Sam Bradshaw. He is in the mood. Okay, good to see you, Sam. Thanks for tuning in. Simon Renz, okay. How's the performance going, mate? Okay, how's the dad bods? I've seen a lot of work with your new company. Hope it's going well, mate. Hope you're getting a lot of sign-ups, um, as well as the Formula One stuff. So we have a, a whole range of people who tune in on Monday mornings, and it's good to see you all. Okay, we've got some. I know what that is. So, okay, Sam Bradshaw and Simon Wheatley. They a good idea is a good idea forever. Well, Sam, uh, that is absolutely beautiful. Right, good to have you. We're going to get back into the content this morning. So what have we got here? The first thing I want you to do, just to see if you're paying attention this morning, is we're going to have a go at affirmation. I'm going to talk about what they are afterwards. But if you're listening and you're paying attention, okay, I want you to type in, I am going to have a great week. Just type it into the chat box, okay? It's positivity, that is an affirmation, that is something that you believe is gonna happen and it's gonna propel you towards having a great week. So that is the, the deal for today. We start with an affirmation if you're watching. I am gonna have a great week, okay? Get it in there, okay? So, Sam Bradshaw, stop quoting the office. Okay, give us a few like, give us a few likes, and you're starting with "I am going to have a great week." Who's going to be the first person? Simon Wheatley, good man, right there. That is an affirmation. That's an example. Thanks very much, Simon. We appreciate that. Okay, who else we got? Good man, good man. We have got Sam Bradshaw, Claire Wilson. Yes, I'm going to have a great week. Right, that right there is an affirmation. So. We're going to hide those comments and we go back to next. So what is an affirmation? I got introduced to affirmations and I thought they were crazy. Okay. I was told to stand up and you say, I am the greatest. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. And it was just too much. And I thought, whoa, this is like being inside some kind of cult. Uh, so I reflected back on what, what I thought an affirmation was. An affirmation, positive self-talk. Okay. And I've been doing that all my life. And there's people on, I know there's people watching here from an athletic background, okay? That positive self-talk is really key to performance. So that's what we're discussing today. Affirmations are really things that are going to help you, okay, get better. Who have we got here? We've got Cassie oh, from Ireland. Fantastic. Going to have a great week. Charles Sherman from Churro. Good man. Uh, we've got Craig Lyle. Thanks for tuning in. He's going to have a great week. Okay, and we've got full team from Manchester, Joe Gardner. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in and dropping your comments in. So I'm going to give you the definition right here of what an affirmation is. Here you go. Affirmations are a concise set of words you say to yourself in order to feel better and propel yourself towards new targets, visions, and achievements. 
Uh, there's two things I really like there. The one, they make you feel better. Okay, it's positivity. Fantastic, really important. The second one, okay, is that you, they use them to propel yourself towards new targets. So you might not be there at the moment. You might not be having a great week at the moment, but you are damn straight. You're going to actually try, aren't you? Okay, so uh, the example that I'm going to use is an Olympic athlete. Before the big race, do you think they're saying, I'm going to, I might not win this race? Or do you think they are, I am going to win this race? Of course they are. They're propelling themselves forwards. Now, if you look at what they're doing in a training basis, their training lasts for four years. So for four years, they are actually waking up and saying, I am a gold medalist. I am of my event in the Olympics. I'm going to do some maths on that. If you get up in the morning and you say an affirmation and you say it again at lunchtime and you say it before you go to bed as well, you are doing it three times a day, 90 times a month, over a thousand times a year. So whatever your goal is, whatever you want to achieve, I want to be a successful business owner. I am going to be a, a successful business owner who's going to sell their business. You said that to yourself out loud a thousand times a year. There's going to be an effect of that. Because what happens if you ever behave in a way that doesn't propel you towards your target, your mind pulls you up on it. So for that athlete who wakes up and says, I'm a gold medalist, I'm a gold medalist. When he looks at a Mars bar, he's not going to eat it. <laughs> in the back of his mind, he's a gold medalist and a gold medalist wouldn't do that. Okay, so that's the real, that's the power of the positivity and the power of the, the affirmations. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Nick Jones, thanks for tuning in. Looking for some Monday motivation, affirmations, brother. That's what we're talking about today. We are going to have a great week. Absolutely. It's great affirmation. Very, very simple one, very positive. So I've got three examples here just to make sure that we're really clear on what this idea is. Okay, and I talk to people, I talk to people, I'm talking to someone yesterday who used to say, my business will never ever work without me. I can never sell it. And they believe that and they think about it and they say it to themselves and they've been saying to themselves for actually decades. Okay, that's hard work to, to break out of that. So the affirmation for someone who just believes they can't do it. Okay, I will run my business in a way that I am not at the heart of operations allowing me to build a profitable and sellable business that can work without me. Now, if that person said this to himself before going to bed, when he woke up at lunchtime every day for a year, a thousand times, do you think that would have an impact? Because I do think so. Okay, so they'd be thinking about how am I making this business work without me? How am I going to make this business? How am I running it? Well, all the decisions I'm making to make it more sellable. Okay, so it's a constant reminder. Next one, I get this, oh, it's too hard. Everything's too hard, work's too hard. Okay, I accept there will be many challenges in my business and life, but we'll look to overcome those challenges, learn from them and become better as a result. We've all got challenges, okay, but that right there, that's an affirmation. I accept that there will be many challenges, I'll learn from them and become better as a result. Team, we're kind of wrapping up a little bit here. Do we have any more affirmations? I've given you your own. I've given you your own instructions. I am going to have a great week. What other affirmations do you have in your job, in your career, in your personal life? Okay, should we get some of them in the chat box? That would be fantastic. Okay, what are you propelling yourself towards? I am going to get that promotion. I am going to sign up ten people to Dad Bods, Simon Renz. I am going to get twenty people to sign up dad bods what is it okay claire wilson i am going to get 10 people to sign up to my photography course different examples okay but love to see them love to get them in the chat box the last one i had an example is i never have any luck i am bad luck i get bad luck we get that all the time okay you create your own luck <laughs> you really do and it's a choice if you believe that or not all right so a simple one here i work hard towards my goal and good luck gravitates towards me. So a thousand times a year, you're, saying, you're telling yourself that good luck gravitates towards you. The impact of that will be positive. 
okay? It will be. How good is this? Craig Lyle, I will pass my TAFE course. Good man, good man. That is really good. I love that, propelling yourself towards this. This is, I would say, the comment that most Cornish surfers say to themselves for 20, 30 years, and that is the chase demon bag. Thinks he's, he's, well, he's going to get barreled, okay? He's going to get barreled in surfing, and yes, you are. So every time you paddle out, you're thinking about that, okay? Aren't we all? Are we all? But that's a great example. Okay. So, what we're going to do is with Monday motivations, we're going to start with affirmations every Monday. It's great engagement from the team this morning. Really good to see you all. Okay. But we're going to start each Monday morning with affirmations. I wanted to do a session to really introduce what they are because when I got introduced to them, I thought it was a little bit crazy. All right. But it's positive self talk. What do you need to tell yourself in order to make yourself brilliant? Okay, Simon Renz, I'm not joking. I signed up 11 dad bods yesterday. Yes, Simon, that is awesome. Well done, well done. I've seen the marketing, so congratulations. Really proud of you. That's really, you know, that's your hard work really paying off, so congratulations. So if you've got any other wins, put them in the chat box. We always like to hear wins, positivity on a Monday morning, but also what are you propelling yourself towards? We love that word. That came up with Jim Rohn's seven strategies for health and uh, wap Happiness, happiness, and wealth. Um, the whole point of a goal is to propel yourself. Okay, here we go. We've got another affirmation. I'm going to get bookings of three new wedding venues by the end of the year. <clears throat> Boom, Joe. By the end of the of the year, we can add that. What about by the end of the week, my friend? Okay, set your affirmations big. But I love that. Thanks for the engagement. Really appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's read this one out. Simon Whitney, Serena Williams father, used to put up affirmations on his door his bedroom walls. I will win Wimbledon one day. I'm going to be a great Af champion. Love affirmations. Thanks, Simon. Thank you so much for that insight. Okay, yeah, there was a famous time, wasn't it? Serena Williams changing over, um, changing ends at Wimbledon. Not going well. She gets out of the book. I've seen Andy Murray do that as well. Okay, athletes look out of the book. I am a champion. Okay, I am a champion. I can overcome any obstacles. And I know we're business coaches here and I talk about, you know, sport a lot as well, but this is for any aspect of life, any aspect, okay? In your personal life, in your business, in your employment, you are gonna get that promotion, okay? Fantastic, thanks very much for Simon, that si sharing that, Simon. Okay, Joe Gardner, I think you'd say that. <laughs> Mate, it's my job, okay? My job is to propel you to, 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 uh, to great things, so um, I'm pleased that you thought that I'd say that, because that is my job, holding people accountable to these affirmations and helping you get there. Team, that has been such a great reaction. I've got such a buzz. I'm so pumped, ready for the day. I hope you're sharing that. Uh, any other comments, just drop them in. It's been really great um, engaging with you. We'll start each week with affirmations. Obviously, a new topic, that's fine every time, but and affirmations. All right, let's get them in. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you next week. Cheers.